Rush said Saturday night after Kansas beat North Carolina that Monday may be the most exciting game he's ever played in. Not because it's the national championship game, but because of all the great guards that will be on the floor at one time. Hey, how are you folks? Destination San Antonio presented by Coors Light continues. We've moved outside the Alamo Dome into the wilderness here in San Antonio. Joe Jones, head coach of Columbia, Steve Lapis of the CBS College Sports Network, and of course, Bill Rafter, a face and a name you need. No introduction, but of course, for CBS Sports. I'm Jason Horwitz, glad to be with you. As we break down the guards and the backcourt matchup, Joe, what is the biggest mismatch in the backcourt on Monday night? Well, I think they're gonna have a tough time guarding Rose because I think Rush is gonna guard Douglas Roberts. I think Rose has just shown that he's just unbelievable on the, on the perimeter. He can get to the hole, he scores around the basket. He seems to just overpower smaller guards, and they with Russell Robinson and Collins, I just don't see a matchup that's going to be able to stand. With Steve, them. Steve, who would you who would you put on Derrick Rose? Well, He's been you phenomenal. probably would put Chalmers on him. You know what I mean? Because of all their guards, none of them have really good size. And the one thing about Derrick Rose is because of his great size and his strength. This guy gets to the hole whenever he wants. I'm going to guess they're going to put Chalmers on. Now, Russell Robinson is also a great defender, but right now, this is their big bind, I think, they have in this game, what they're going to do with him. I think the big key for Calipari is what do you do with Anderson? You really don't want to, who do you put him on? He's such a great, did a great job on Collison. Uh, if he plays Rush, for example, that changes and helps other people for Kansas. So I think there'll be a lot of mismatches or odd size matchups in this game. And I, I, I just think defensively, something that Calipari, nobody talks about. They they are extraordinary on that end of the floor. How about the one matchup where you have equal size, and that's Brandon Rush and Chris Douglas Roberts, two guys that had uh, their best performances so far of the tournament? Well, those two guys are, they may go at it. I'm, I'm just hoping, I'm just waiting to see it. I just want to see what's going to happen with this matchup because these are two great players. I think that, like Bill said, Antonio Anderson may guard Brandon Rush, but if they are going head-to-head, -to -head, you got Chris Douglas Roberts, who is better off the dribble. You got Brandon Rush, who's much better as a three-point shooter, even though he can go off the dribble. That is a great matchup. I think a big key is, can Brandon Rush stay out of foul trouble? Because one thing Chris Douglas Roberts does, he gets you in foul trouble. Well, I think the big thing Calipari will do, if that is the matchup, he'll put him inside. Chris Douglas Roberts, he's got an array of shots. He's tricky. He can put it on the deck. He's got that little floater and a jump hook. I think that's where the mismatch occurs. If he stays outside, I think Rush can play with him. I'm not sure he can contain him, but I think he can hold him down. Now, now stats can sometimes lie, but I don't think this one does. Memphis has not had double-digit turnovers since the first round of the NCAA tournament. That's four straight games under 10. Kansas is coming off a game where it had 19 turnovers. Break that down. Hey, Memphis doesn't pass the ball that much. They just, they're one-on-one -on -one tune. They're going to run some quick sets, and they go to the basket. If they do pass the ball, it's for alley-oop alley shots around the rim so that's not a team that's going to move the ball too much Kansas is more of a passing team and you know Kansas got that big lead against North Carolina and just really try to hold on to that lead and that's what led them to so many turnovers Joe made a great point first of all Memphis only averaged 11 turnovers during the season this mm -hmm. year as it is. Now they're only averaging eight. But when you drive all the time and you don't make passes, <laughs> it's hard to turn it over. And it shows Kansas is a five-man motion offense team. So the big guys handle the ball. The guards handle the ball. Plus, they even play. Memphis plays fast. They play even faster. They're more susceptible to turnovers. But I think that's kind of factored into their game already. I think the, the big advantage for Kansas are the big guys. And now you got four. Colleen Henry Aldrich, uh, all of a sudden, where's he from? But he was a McDonald's All-American, uh, a very talented I could kid. use one of those guys, right? Uh, yeah, you know what? You know, he he turned down Columbia. I couldn't believe he turned down Columbia. But for a breakdown of the big men, be sure to be with us on Destination San Antonio, presented by Coors Light. On Monday, you can get a breakdown of the inside game, Joey Dorsey, and who he's going to handle and all that stuff. Stay with us throughout the weekend as championship game comes your way Monday night from the Alamo Dome on CBS. Take care, folks.